Alright folks, welcome to the channel on Skins for Life and just wanted to show you guys the Xbox Smart Glass feature that's on the new Windows 8. I uh, just downloaded it uh, like sometime last week and pretty much uh, the key thing you have to do when you log, when you first download Windows 8 is that the username that you have to use in order for this to work correctly with the Smart Glass with the Xbox Live is that you have to use the same username and password that you use on Windows Live. I cannot stress that enough. I actually have two Windows Live accounts and I logged in with the wrong one and I wasn't connecting at first but then I got my other login name and I'm connected as you see I'm actually playing Man 13 scan over here and you see how it's connected. So, um, those that are wondering about when the smart glass feature, uh, I don't know if they're going to enable it on Xbox Live, like from the console itself, but you can pretty much, once you click the icon, and let me actually go to the start screen. Yeah, that smart screen right there, uh, that app right there, you click on that. And I'll go right back to this. Now, since I'm already connected, it instantly goes to the feature, but uh, or it goes to this home screen. And of course, you can scroll through. Um, leave. You can actually go and check out like recent games that you played. Like okay, like I have WWE 13. I can hit explore. In which. I can check out certain my achievements, my progress, stuff that's available for the game, and past related games that I have. Actually, I still have WWE 12. I need to trade that in. I may trade that in towards Halo 4. But um, so that's pretty much just a quick overview of how the smart glass feature works I know there's probably more in-depth views about Windows 8 and you know the Xbox smart glass and then you have to do the same thing on your tablet if you have a Windows 8 tablet you have to make sure that again the Xbox not, not Xbox the Microsoft Live account that you use to log in with Xbox Live must be the same one you use when you first download Windows 8 um, or it just won't work you'll be creating a new um, Xbox Live account or username without even noticing it so um, and which happened to me and luckily they don't charge when that happens but um, again you want to make sure you use the same exact Windows Live username and password when syncing when um, when you first download the Windows 8 in order for it to sync properly. So again, this is your boy DJ81. That channel Skins for Life. Peace. Go Skins. Even though they lost.